In this video, we're going to learn about types of sensors. So let's take a cell with an EMF epsilon. We're going to connect it to two resistors. This is a potential divider circuit or a voltage divider because the EMF, the voltage, is divided across the two series resistors. We know these are in series because there's only one pathway for the current to follow. There's no place for it to split off and take a second path. Okay, the top resistor is a normal resistor like we've studied, but the bottom one is going to be a thermistor. A thermistor is a device that responds to temperature. In particular, as you increase the temperature and move to the right on the graph, the resistance goes down. So whatever you do to the temperature, the opposite effect occurs with resistance. Let's play this out. We're going to connect a voltmeter across the thermistor so we measure its voltage or potential difference. Okay, if you increase the temperature, what happens to the thermistor's resistance and what happens to the reading on the voltmeter? Let's think this through. If you increase the temperature, the resistance does the opposite, goes down, and if this bottom resistor has less resistance, then it uses less of the EMF. So the voltage, the potential difference, goes down. Okay, so let's transfer that into the answer. The resistance of the thermistor goes down, decreases, and the reading on the voltmeter decreases as well. Now we're going to learn about a second type of uh, sensor. <clears throat> you take your cell with the EMF epsilon, connect it to the two resistors, and this time the top resistor is going to be a light-dependent resistor. These are sometimes called LDRs for short. Okay, a light-dependent resistor is a resistor that responds to light intensity. When you make the light brighter, when you increase the intensity, the resistance decreases. So it's pretty similar to a thermistor, but instead of responding to temperature, it responds to the intensity of light or the brightness of light. So think about it. When it's really dark, is there a high resistance or a low resistance? When it's dark, intensity is down here, so resistance is high. All right, let's take this and put it into action. We're going to attach a voltmeter across the, uh, the bottom resistor, not the LDR, and we ask the question, if light intensity increases, what happens to the LDR's resistance, and what happens to the reading on the voltmeter? Okay, let's think this through. Intensity increases, so resistance does the opposite. It goes down. And if the top resistor has less resistance, then it consumes less of the EMF, a smaller share. That means the bottom resistor is consuming a bigger share now, and so the voltage on the uh, voltmeter, the reading goes up. Okay, let's transfer that into the answer. The LDR's resistance, let's see, resistance went down, opposite of the light intensity's increase, and the reading on the voltmeter went up, increased.